Nothing is impossible. Those were the motivational words by new Miss BVI Cherie De Castro to her students at the Elmore Stout High School. Miss BVI spoke with JTV News just moments after winning the crown on Sunday, August 5th. Walter Barrett has this report. The crowd was there at the multipurpose sports complex to witness the crowning of the new Miss BVI. Five contestants, namely Levanta Thompson, Michelle Parsons, Latoya Donovan, Anna Christina John, and Cherie De Castro, all took the stage in the hopes of being crowned queen. But it was Cherie De Castro who would win the judges' decision by the end of the night. The contestants took part in six segments, namely introduction, swimwear, evening wear, cultural historical costume, talent, and question and answer. Like every year though, it was the talent and question and answer segments that had the audience sitting at the edge of their seats. The complex was quiet for the last event that carried with it a total of 90 points. How do you believe competitions such as the ongoing London Olympics are essential to international relations? Such competitions are essential for overseas relations because when our students go overseas, they are representing the British Virgin Islands. And we have so many students presently overseas participating in sports, and they are putting the British Virgin Islands on the map. I believe that competition in the London Olympics is essential to international countries because this is helpful in letting everyone know the different countries in the world and everyone can learn about each country's culture and their and the environment in which they are in which means we have the history of the island and the culture and the heritage of that island or the country in which the athletes are coming from I believe that the ongoing competition of the Olympics will bring the BVI Islanders out to see what kind of talent they have for themselves. I would definitely say that it really helps to promote the country and sell the country. So by the Olympics... Yes. The Olympics is a good way to sell the country and promote the country. So more people coming into the country equals more money. I believe that it is imperative that we understand that in going to events such as these, as well as hosting them, we open a new era and realm of relationships that are built so that... So
so that in speaking and as well as just conversations and interactions with each other, people will be able to learn more about countries around the world and thus want to travel there. Thank you. The judges would have the final say on the night. Miss British Virgin Islands 2012 goes to contestant, contestant number, number five, five. Miss Cherie De Castro. Miss BVI 2012 also captured the titles of Miss Congeniality, the People's Choice Award, Miss Poised, Best Talent, Best BVI Promotional Speech, Best Personal Interview, and Miss Intellect. First runner-up went to Anna John, who also captured Miss Photogenic, Best Swimwear, Best Cultural Historical Costume, and Best Evening Wear, and second runner-up went to Michelle Parsons. Immediately after being crowned, JTV News spoke with Mr. Castro about the event. I just honestly believe that if I put my best foot forward, I could get the crown. So I stand here today thanking God for that. You're a teacher. What do you have to say to your students out there who, who looked on tonight? Their teacher is now Miss BVI 2012. What do you want to say to your students? Like I always tell them, do your best. Nothing is impossible. Just go out there, find that one thing that you love to do, and do it. And I promise you, you will get the crown. The newly crowned Miss BVI is expected to take home a new car, a scholarship, a trip to the Miss Universe pageant, and a $5,000 wardrobe, among other prizes. This is Walter Barrett reporting for JTV News.